What's up guys, it's Wasabi and I'm back with another review. SimGod sent me this set of IEMs. But as always with all my reviews, these are my thoughts, personal opinions and experiences with the product. And today we have the SimGod EM6L. And before we get on with the review, here's a quick look at the packaging because that's what you pay for too. The EM6L comes in this very nicely designed box. Looks very classy and professional. And I love this gold print right here. I think it looks amazing. Flip over the cover and the first thing you'll see are the IEMs. It comes slotted in this foam piece and they look so classy with the gloss black finish. Here's what it looks on the back. Inside the accessory box comes a case for your IEMs. This case feels very well made and inside you can find the cable and this is a high priority OFC silver plated cable that has a dual pin male and female socket system. Of course you have your instruction manual and inside the other box you have set of silicone tips. These include sizes for small, medium and large. Getting it set up is just like with any any IEM. There are labels for both the left and right side and the cable as well. And once you got your cable connected, all you gotta do is slot in the silicone tips. And that's pretty much it. This gloss finish looks really good but there's a little drawback and I'll talk about that later. So that's pretty much all that's included inside the box. The SimGuard is a company known for producing high quality in-ear monitors for a good price. The IEM we have today is what SimGuard recommends for gamers which offers a good audio experience for gaming with its balanced tuning and it comes in at a price of about $110. Now I am no audiophile as you can probably tell from my channel and IEMs are not my expertise. So this review is to share how I feel about the EM6L. It's been my daily driver for a while now for gaming, video production, casual listening, you know, Spotify, Netflix and whatnot. They sent me this unit to test how it fits in my setup and share with you guys how I feel about it and that's what I'm gonna do. The comfort of these felt great for me, the IEMs fit well in my ear and nothing really special about the silicone rubber tips but they do a good job with isolation. What I really enjoy about these are how soft the ear hooks are. Compared to much cheaper IEMs that I've used before, those hurt the back of my ears after using them for a couple of hours. When I put these on, it immediately felt like a much more comfortable experience for me. On top of that, these felt way more comfortable when I wear my glasses. The hooks are flexible enough that my glasses don't push them against my ear, which is a huge win for me when it comes to comfort. The housing of these have a general rounded off shape that feels just fine in my ear. However, some people may find the nozzles to be too short and this will affect the fit. Well, keep in mind that comfort levels vary from person to person and everyone's ear anatomy is, well, different. What I do not like is that though the IEMs look really good with a gloss black finish on the shelves, this thing has been a fingerprint magnet so just be prepared to wipe them frequently. The EM6L is a hybrid IEM with one dynamic driver and four balance armatures on each side with back vents for bass tuning. The EM6L offers a satisfactory sound stage with a wide presentation ideal for gaming and the adequate height and depth contribute to somewhat of an immersive audio experience. In the lows it strikes a middle ground with solid sub bass performance, detailed bass lacks a bit of punch but remains suitable for both gaming and music. The mid-range feels dense but I feel it lacks some instrument separation. While the mids do sound decent, the layers feel closely packed together and this affects the overall clarity. You get smooth highs with good detail and sparkle. Travel peaks are well handled and this avoids piercing tone while maintaining a good level of fluidity. I'm pretty sure for casual gamers and casual consumers it would be a little confusing so in short, this IEM has been a good audio experience for gaming and casual listening. While it may not provide the ultimate audio quality, I feel that the EM6L represents good value for money. Sound stage positioning and imaging is good for gaming, footsteps were easy to pick up when I was playing Valorant and noise isolation is good too. There is no microphone version for this one but I generally would not recommend using IEMs with built-in mics because the mic audio quality usually isn't so good. They work but I would suggest having a dedicated mic on your setup if you plan to use IEMs for gaming. So I've been using these IEMs while working on my production, enjoying my music and of course gaming. I particularly enjoy using them to review my audio recordings when I'm working on videos. For gaming, the soundstage is good although some people would prefer IEMs with even more detail and clarity for competitive gaming. What I like is that these IEMs sound good for that while still offering a, how you say, an immersive experience in single player games. For me, I prefer not to use in-ear audio when I go out for safety reasons when I'm crossing roads, so this one stays on my desk. In conclusion, the SimGod EM6L has been performing well. It feels more like a jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing, which I think is perfectly fine because having one that sounds good for all the things that you do 
stays on the desk, if you know what I mean. While I have not experienced a ton of IEMs, with the sound quality you get from the SimGod EM6L, at $109 is pretty great. And while it may not compete with higher-end IEMs in terms of audio fidelity, its balanced sound signature and comfortable fit would make it a practical choice for gamers and casual listeners. With all products, you get what you pay for, and in my opinion, the EM6L represents good value for money. And if you're coming from gaming headsets, this is an IEM that you could check out. At $109, dollars it's not bad i like them my concern is for gamers you would probably have to consider getting a standalone microphone if you don't already have one and that would set you back another 50 dollars for a budget mic oh yeah and i think what would be nice is to include a cleaning cloth to wipe the iems after use i think that would be a very useful accessory to include with this set of iems so yeah these are my thoughts and experience with the em6l so far thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and i guess i'll see you in the next one by the way the song beautiful things by Benson Bone sounds freaking amazing on these IMs. Literally got goosebumps when I listen to it. <laughs>